Prabhu Ketu. Out of this, these three are even more cruel. Okay? Rahu Ketu and Saturn. If people uh, lost job during this planetary periods, Saturn Rahu Ketu, they will feel much more intensity of the job and they won't have enough money with them. You know, they will be struggling like anything. Okay. I've seen people who have lost a job during Venus or Jupiter. Even here, they also lost a job, but they are comfortable. What does it mean? They have a house. They have some backup uh, savings, which they can use for to survive. Or if they don't have savings, uh, his or her spouse will be able to make the money to run the family so that this native's needs will be fulfilled. Are you getting it? Yep. In both the cases, the native has lost job. But the environment is entirely different. So that is how the effect of malefic and benefic will be.
and some astrologers take uh, rahu and ketu uh, virgo sign and uh, meena uh, sign as uh, mola trikona houses for rahu and ketu So here we are looking at planet and Ra Rashi. The planet position. Okay, okay. If right, sun, okay. like we said, right, forty-five <laughs> degrees sun. <laughs> so Leo, if sun is here, right. This is Leo sign. Sun is <laughs> here. This is zero to thirty degrees. Correct within <laughs> this uh, Leo sign. Right. Sun will be in Mula Trikona only in the first twenty degrees. Okay. If sun okay. is in uh, twenty-two degrees. It is not in Mula Trikona. Okay. Okay. Yeah. Okay. So this is the exaltation and debilitation. So what is exaltation means? Exaltation means that means the planet has the maximum strength in that house. It gets the maximum strength in that house. That is exaltation. Puch. Okay. Mm -hmm. And debilitation is opposite. Mm -hmm. Planet is weak in that position. Okay. So if you look at sun is exalted in Aries. Okay. Opposite. Here. Exact opposite house, debilitated. We already saw Sun and Saturn, they don't like each other. Where Sun is exalted, there Saturn is debilitated. Where Saturn is exalted, there Sun is debilitated. So the way malefic and benefic uh, meanings you explained, Hmm? How do we interpret uh, exaltation, debilitation? Sir? Like exaltation means it will show maximum effect, or in a good and how do we decode the name of meaning of those words? Correct. Okay. Good question. So, when it is an exaltation or debilitation, right? A malefic and benefic. The core karakatwa. What is the core karakatwa? Malefic being cruel. Right? Say, for example, let me give. Uh, uh, say, in some movies, you will have the villain character. Right? So, that villain character is cruel in nature. But that villain character, if he uh, likes uh, the heroine or any character, he will give everything in a cruel way. He will give okay. too much. But the other person may not like it. But this guy will go and then force and give. It will be like that. But most of the planets are malefic only. No, no sir. <laughs> Correct. So if they, are, if they are exalted, they give in a that's what we are trying to understand. Kind, kind of. of. Yeah, kind of. As of now. Okay. As okay. of now. Okay. 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 So the exaltation and debilitation charts are standard? This is fixed. This is fixed. Okay. This is if, fixed. If, it, if a chart happens to have the specific planet in that exaltation, it, that's good. Correct. Okay. Okay. So this is fixed. If you are hmm. uh, following South Indian chart, these planets positions are fixed if okay. you see if you see any horoscope and see you jupiter here in a cancer sign that means jupiter is exalted sir can you give one example sir where exaltation is considered as good and exaltation is considered as bad for any planet maybe <laughs> if, if this is appropriate or we can wait for advanced class if it is not okay i will i will uh, uh, show you uh, where uh, okay, I will show you. Don't worry about it. Okay, so, so th these are all related. Can... Sorry, um, the, uh, so uh, you 
uh, let's take Jupiter in the exaltation, right? Mm -hmm. the, in the standard chart, uh, the planet in the Jupiter position is Moon. Mm -hmm. Right? Correct. So right. Moon and Correct. Jupiter have to be um, friends or neutral. And then the exaltation is the next degree? Yeah. Correct. Correct. So it, it should be neutral. Jupiter, or, or, see, yeah. mm -hmm. see, Jupiter okay. moon is friend. Okay. A planet will not become uh, exalted, exalted. But right. here, I mean, there is little, uh, uh, see, Saturn is neutral. Okay? Right, right. Okay. Uh, but in Saturn house only, it is debilitating. Okay. But even though it shows as a Saturn uh, neutral, but you, in practical, you should uh, you can consider uh, Jupiter and Saturn as enemies. Hmm. Okay, they won't go well with each other. Okay. Okay. <clears throat> Thanks. So these planets, these signs are fixed. Mm. If you find any planet in this position, that means they are either exalted or debilitated. But again, you see here Rahu, Ketu, uh, they are Chaya Grahas, but there are some uh, astrologers, they consider uh, Rahu and Ketu as exalted and debilitated. Okay. Uh, that's why I've just put it here. But uh, yeah, some astrologers take uh, this as, uh, as exalted positions. And again, it is opposite, Rahu and Ketu. If Rahu is exalted in one, Ketu will be uh, debilitated there and vice versa. Okay. Okay. Um, so, okay. Now, let's, uh, one minute. You asked that uh, cha that uh, chart. I think I moved it somewhere down. Give me a minute. Hmm. Okay. <clears throat> See here, uh, this is our popular Arvind Kejriwal's horoscope. Okay. So uh, in this software, it automatically gives so like it, not yet, which is sir, not yet loaded, sir. Oh, not yet loaded. Oh, sorry. Maybe you're not sharing. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm just doing. Okay. <clears throat> okay, now you can see, right? So Arvind Kejriwal. <laughs> hmm. Okay. Arvind Kejriwal. So he has two planets debilitated. Hmm. Okay. So Saturn is here. Right? Hmm. And then which one? Mars. Mars is here. Yeah. Debilitated. Right. So uh, again, so when I teach the other method, we will not be looking at all these debilities and exaltation at all. If two planets are debilitated, how come he's so successful? You might think, how, why this guy just now taught exaltation, debilitation, and then now contradicting myself. Uh, that is what like I will be teaching right, when you mm -hmm. continue the full class. So all this exaltation, debilitation doesn't mean anything when we when you come to predictive astrology. I will tell you how what sense you can take, but this is one example. Uh, Surendra, you asked, right? This is yes, two planets yes, debilitated. There is not even a single planet exalted. Yeah. Not even a single planet. He is IIT. 
he is civil services and now he started a political party and he is a two term chief minister as of now right he so succeeded from from childhood he is good in schools college profession <laughs> yeah right but yet two planets are debilitated maybe because uh, uh, planetary positions changes right it's not constant for his lifetime maybe some during some time he's no so as of no, you're talking about transit that is we are okay. not talking about transit right okay, okay. we're talking about the natal horoscope okay Snapshots. yeah i'm yeah. going to i will be taking only this snapshot right and then i will explain why how they are different and how we, they are so successful got it okay okay and there is a different method and easy method to do it you don't have to look at all these things. So this is our friend Vijay Malya. <laughs> See? Nothing exalted, nothing debilitated. Ketu is debilitated, no? There's one... We don't consider, I don't consider... Oh, okay. Okay. Uh, okay. Right? Uh, mm. um, okay. <clears throat> Hmm. Or nothing exalted. Yeah. I mean, he has so many thousands of crores. He he inherited so much of money. Right? This is our friend. Uh, and this is what. Uh, okay. Anyway, now we were talking about. I'll, I'll come to that. Right? So this is our friend uh, Mamta. So Mamta has. So Mamta has at least one Mula Trikona, one exalted, another one exalted. Mm. Right? Uh, but uh, all these other two people, they don't. <clears throat> Again, like this, if you, uh, when we go to the uh, full class, right, I would encourage you to bring sample example charts. Example, I, I don't need the, their names, right? What we need is their birth details and their current position. And what we can software, see... what app we can use or software to use to uh, get these details? Is there anything that you suggest? So this one, no, I am using the commercial version, uh, paid uh, software, Horosoft. And you can mm -hmm. use, uh, uh, what is it? Uh, Jagannath Hora, which is free software. That you can you gave the link, sir, in the WhatsApp group. You already gave. Let, I can post it again in the, in the yeah, WhatsApp okay. you, you gave last time. Mm -hmm. okay. okay, thanks. Yeah. So this is a paid one. Uh, mm -hmm. It costs uh, 25,000 rupees. Um, then uh, there are other software also. Jagannath Hora is pretty good. Or you can use uh, Astro Sage. That recently they developed. I mean, for me, recently is when five years is recent for me. <laughs> Ten years also recent for me. So, um, yeah, that is also good. There are a lot of software is available, and uh, uh, you know, there are a lot of apps also available for to cast the chart. Brick Panchang is another app uh, I use that is also pretty good to get this basic stuff. Yep. Okay. Uh, any any question? Uh, I know we are like out of time, Dr. Prasad, but uh, eventually will we be able to tell out of all the concepts that we learned, what should we exactly use to predict someone's chart and what are just a concept for us to know? Correct. Correct. So so basically, this is a total like, uh, let me go back uh, to my PPT. Hold on a minute. Let me go to that slide. Yeah. So this is our, um, see, we will be in this free class. Uh, I, I will be covering up to this chapter two. Okay, right. chapter two. And uh, maybe a little bit of uh, chapter uh, three. Okay, that's it. 
right? So then now if whoever uh, wants to continue the whole class, all right? So then uh, that will be fee. Then that is where like we will I'll be talking about how to read the horoscope and what you are seeing is the natal chart. That is like, uh, say for example, let me give you an example. Okay, if uh, your Lagna, we saw the Lagna, let's say uh, Aries, right? If a person born the Lagna degree as one degree also Aries, 29 degree also Aries. Yeah. Right? Like that is yes. what we have learned so far. And that is how a lot of people use for prediction. Okay. But the effect won't be the same. The 29 degree Aries person will have influence of uh, Rushaba also. So how to decode that? Mm. Yeah. Okay. So yeah. not every, see if everybody perfectly is born in 15 degree Aries, which is the midpoint, 15 or 16 degree Aries or 15 or 16 degree Leo like that, then you can consider. But no, uh, very few people will be born in that exact degree. Right. So all those, these are all the nuances that will help in doing the prediction accurately. If you follow these basic things, your prediction rate, I will tell you only 50 percent hmm. or maximum 55 percent. Mm -hmm. What I am trying to teach is trying to hit more than 70 percent or 80 percent. If you practice well, then you will get 80 percent. Right. Okay. So, what is the jump you have to do from 50 to 70 or 80? So, those are all the techniques that right, completely. So, that is the method I will be teaching this one. Uh, where is my thing? Yeah, this one. Stellar Nadi Astrology method. This is the I method I will be teaching. And then this method, again, I made my own variations to this method, enhanced this method. And I came up with my own hybrid model. I see. see when I learned this method, it was giving me like a 70 to 80. 80%. Okay. So with my hybrid thing, I am getting like more than 80%. In some cases, 85, 90 also. I see. <laughs> so I will be teaching that what is this method and then what is that hybrid uh, model that I came up with. Okay. The, uh, so what that hybrid method software changes also is done in Horosoft. So I requested uh, the, the software developer to make those changes. The, uh, and then uh, he made the changes. Now, whatever the method, the hybrid method I have come up with, it is there in the software. It's up to the people to use it. So then after we learn this method and using this method, you will be able to predict everything. And uh, my, uh, my, my guarantee is you will be able to predict in two minutes. Wow, that's a lot. <laughs> two minutes. In less than two minutes, you will be able to predict. If somebody says, okay, how is, okay, there is some uh, layoffs are all going on, right? In the current economy. Okay, will uh, will my, my job be safe? Will I get laid off? After learning, finish this course, you will predict in less than two minutes. In fact, once you practice, it will be less than one minute also, but initially two minutes. So like that, any question, any question, when will I have my child? Same, two minutes. When will I buy property? Same, everything same. So there are a set of formulas uh, that I will be sharing. So litigation, traveling, health issues, you know, all that. Horoscope matching will take time. Okay. Uh, okay. The horoscope matching will take time. It won't be two minutes. That's a long process. But all the other general questions, right? When will I get a green card? 
Okay, I'm going for H1B stamping. Okay, will I get my H1 stamping done? You know, all that you will be able to answer. Okay. Any other questions? Okay, no questions. Thank you. We'll see you next week. Thank you. Thank you, Dr. Chris. Bye. Thank you, Doctor. Bye.